Hey everybody, it's Marcus again, and today we are going to work on our ankles and our calves. So your ankle and calf flexibility is going to be very dependent on how you live your life and also your anatomy, your genetics here. So make sure to take your time to really feel out if something is too intense, too much for you, and just take the options that work better for you or completely back off for now if you need to. You might want a block uh, so that you can take the options that work the best for you. If you do not have a block, that's totally fine. There will be options without the block, or you can also just use something like a block such as a very firm pillow, a stack of books, anything that can pretty much support most of your weight. So with that in mind, we'll put the block to the side and we will start lying down onto our backs. Take your time to lie down. <clears throat> awesome, once you lie down, let's keep your knees bent, your feet flat to floor. From here, let's bring your right leg up toward the ceiling, right leg goes up. Hold your thigh or your shin. Just basically hold on where you can on the right leg. From here, you can decide to keep the left knee bent or straighten it out, whatever feels better. Let's focus on that ankle. When you're ready, inhale, let's point the right toes toward the sky. Take your time, all the way pointed. Exhale, start to flex the foot. So you're trying to flatten the foot and curl the toes towards the shin. Let's try again, inhale, point the toes, toes reaching for the ceiling. Exhale, flex the foot, your heel is pushing up, your toes try to curl towards the shin. Three more, inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Last two, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Good, stay with the flex foot. Now this time we're going to circle inwards. Inhale, start to circle the ankle inwards. Point it all the way up, find that pointed toes. Exhale, go into the right and flexing the foot all the way through. Awesome, so let's try that four more times. Inhale, inside and point all the way up. Exhale, going out and flexing all the way through. Awesome, let's do three more circles, slow and steady. You might notice that your toes do funky things, that's totally normal. Take your time. This is sometimes um, a point where people cramp. So if you cramp your foot, <clears throat> totally fine. Just shake it out, take a minute, pause the video as you need. Good, and get back into it when you feel ready. Great. And one more circle here. <clears throat> Take your time to finish the last one, the fifth one. After five, let's do the other way. Inhale, out, then point. Exhale, in, then flex. Great, and four more to go. Take your time. If you need a little break at any point, feel free to do that or just keep going and get it over with. <laughs> Good, take your time. Three more. Again, take it slow and steady, no rush. It's not about how many, it's not about how fast. It's taking your time to feel. It's not the most pleasant feeling but we want to get to every nook and cranny of the ankle. When you go too fast, you skip a couple spaces. So we do not want to do that. Last two circles here. Good. And maybe last one. Great, stay with the flex foot. Now this time we're going to wave the foot. Let's go in first, then out, keeping the foot flex all throughout. In, then out. Good. And let's do three more. Three, out. Two, out. Last one, out. Bend the knee and stomp your right foot to the ground. Awesome. Shake out that right foot ankle as you need. And we'll do the other side. 
Left leg straight up, hold by your shin. Keep the left leg straight as best you can. You can keep the right knee bent or straighten it out to floor, whatever feels better. Point and flex the foot. Inhale, point the toes all the way up. Exhale, flex the foot all the way flat. Four more. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. From here, let's circle. Going in first. Inhale. All the way to point. Exhale outwards. All the way to flex. Four more to go. No rush. Please take your time. Good. So slow and steady again to feel every nook and cranny of the ankle. And I bet you actually feel it. I feel it for myself. Good. Take your time. <clears throat> Last two circles. No rush. Finish your last one. Great. Meet me with a flex foot when you're ready. Going other way. Inhale out, then point. Exhale in, then flex. Four more to go. Take your time. Not the most pleasant feeling in the world, but it'll feel better later. Take your time. Good. Three more. <clears throat> and two little cracks. <laughs> awesome. Might be your last two. Take your time. Good. We're almost through. Great. And end with the flex foot. Stay there. Wave side to side. Let's go in, then out. In, then out. Three, out. Two, out. Last one. Out. Bend the knee and stomp the foot down. Shake out that left foot, whatever you need. Great. Now from here, let's hug both knees to chest, forehead to knees, rock forward and back. Rock up to seated, take your time to get up. <clears throat> Great. Once you're up, we're coming on to hands and knees, hands and knees, tabletop position. Wrists under shoulder, shoulder width, knees under hips. Let's step your right foot all the way behind you here and keep the five toes curled under. From here, we're rocking back and forth, focusing on that push back so you feel a nice pull to the calf every time. Awesome. Let's do about three more times, just back and forth here. And after the third one, we're keeping it pushed back so you feel that calf opening up. Make sure all five toes are curled under. Hold there for a little bit. Breathe. <clears throat> Great. Let's give it just two more big breaths. Awesome. And inhale, coming forward, shoulders over wrists, and step the right knee in. Let's step the left foot back this time, curl five toes under. Same thing, rocking back and forth. Focus on that push back so you feel the calf open up a little. No rush. <clears throat> Good. Last three here. Good. And on the third one, keep it back. Push your weight towards that back foot. Feel the heel drive to the back. Hold. Awesome. Let's give it three more steady breaths. Stay. Good. And when you're ready, inhale, shifting forward. Bring the left knee in. 
When you're ready, we're going to step back into a plank just for two seconds here, all the way straight, legs behind you, inhale. Exhale, pressing back up to downward dog, downward dog, awesome. So your hips are high, your arms are straight and strong. You can start with bent knees, that's okay. From here, we're pedaling out the heels. So bending one knee at a time, straightening one leg at a time. You're driving the heels towards the ground as best you can. You should feel a nice pull to the calves and by the back of the heel, the Achilles heel. And we're here for a little while. Great. Let's do just one more, right and left. Great. Now this time, let's drive just the right heel down towards the floor, bend the left knee, and we're staying for a while. Do your best to push the right heel towards the ground. It might touch, it might not, either or is okay. From here, if you want to, going further with the stretch, left foot can push the right heel down. Kind of use your toes to help the heel towards the ground. That's gonna give your right heel a bit of help to stretch the calf. We're here for a little bit. Awesome. Let's give it two more breaths. So we're gonna do this pattern of movement, dynamic movement and holding for a little bit. Let's go the other way. Left heel down and maybe step the right foot on top of the heel. Hold here for a moment. Awesome. So this alternation of dynamic movement first, then going into a static hold is going to help you open up the calves a little better. The dynamic movement helps warm up the muscles so it gets ready for that static hold, which really gives you a deeper stretch. Awesome. And when you're ready, release both feet to the ground, lower the knees down, and we're coming into a kneeling position. Awesome. Let's start with your toes tucked under here. Now let's try to get all five toes tucked under as best you can. And your feet can be pretty close together or about two fists width apart, about hip width apart, whatever feels best for you. Let's try to keep the knees together as close as they can. They might be a little bit apart, whatever feels best for you, just not very wide. Now, if this is not comfortable for you, you can always just lean forward with the hands on the ground or use a block between your heels, your ankles, to sit on whatever feels the best. Now, if you're very comfortable, then go ahead and just sit right on top of the heels and we're here for a little while. <clears throat> Remember, hands can touch the ground to lessen the pressure on the stretch on the toes or you can bring the hands onto your lap, whatever feels the best. If you want to go a bit further, you can also lean back a smidge and that's going to bring more weight towards the toes to give them a bigger stretch. At any point you need, just lean forward and shake out the toes, shake out the legs, any point that you need. Awesome, we're here for a little bit. Let's give it three more steady breaths. No rush. If you'd like, let's inhale, lift the shoulders to ears, exhale, roll them back and down. Let's do that two more times just to distract yourself. Inhale, exhale, back and down. One last time, inhale, exhale, back and down. Good, and when you're ready, let's bring your hands to the front, lean forward, and untuck the toes. Just tap those feet, the toes to the ground. Take your time. Good, and from here, if you'd like to, we're going to sit back again. Now, remember your options. This time, untuck toes, so we stretch the front of the ankle. You can hold to the floor. You can hold to the floor as you sit up tall or keep leaning. You can also sit on the block just like before. Pick the height that's best for you. So see how tall you need the block to be. Or if you're pretty comfortable here, you can bring the hands on your lap. Awesome. If you don't feel too much of a stretch, some people might already feel it. You can start to walk your hands back and lean back. Awesome. The higher the knees go off the floor, the more intense it's going to be on the fronts of your ankles. Awesome. Now for some of you, this might feel pretty easy, maybe. Bring your hands to your lap as you lean back. So it's almost like you're balancing just on the tops of your feet. Good, and again, hold onto the floor when it gets too much. 
if you're pretty comfortable, lean back as much as you can. Again, the higher the knees go, the more intense the stretch on the ankles. Hold here for a little bit. Good, let's give it at least three more steady breaths, no rush. One more big breath. Very good, and slowly bring the knees down, hands forward, lean forward, and shake out those legs, tap out the feet again. Let's do one more big stretch here. We're stepping your right foot between your hands, then help your left knee all the way forward. So for some of you, it might be easier to have your knee just in line with the toes. For some of you, if you want a deeper stretch, you might want to bring your knee past your toes as far as you need. Just make sure that the right heel stays on the ground. Awesome. Now, open up the feet, the knee as wide as you need to so you can use your chest, your weight, to stretch out the right calf. Hands in front of you. Walk the hands as forward as you would like, trying to use the weight of your upper body to push on that right thigh. So make sure that your chest shoulder area is hooked to the right thigh. So you use your leaning forward motion to stretch that right calf. Do your best to keep the right heel down so you hit that right calf. The moment the heel comes up, it's not really gonna feel like much. Hold here for a moment. Again, the more you lean forward, the more intense it gets on the calf. Just make sure that the heel stays on the ground. Use the hands to walk you forward. Let's give it two more breaths here. Try to stay. Good. And inhale, press yourself back up and we'll switch. Let's bring your left foot forward between the hands and right knee comes forward. Knee can be in line with the toes or Play with the position of the right knee, maybe past the toes. Mine is pretty past the toes. It's about six inches forward. Separate the foot and the knee about hip distance or so, whatever feels the best. And really play with pushing your chest forward here. Make sure the left heel stays down. You might be pretty up and you should feel it already. Or you can be very forward and you might feel a much more intense stretch on that left calf. So play with the position of your hands of your right knee and press your weight forward. We're here for a bit. Again, you should feel a nice pull to the left calf, a bit to the Achilles heel, and let's give it about three more steady breaths. Great. No rush. Take your time. When you're ready, Inhale, pressing back up. Now make your way to seated. That might be leg straight out or cross, whatever feels best. From here, lift the chest proud, bring the fingers to the side. Inhale, both arms come up, up and overhead, palms meet. Exhale, hands in front of your face. Let them land to heart center. One more big inhale here. Exhale, bow chin towards chest. The light within me, bow down to the light within you. Thank you. Namaste. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for practicing with me, everybody. And I hope you made it out okay with this class. I know it was not pleasant, especially the start with the circling of the ankles. I do not like that at all, but I know I kind of need it. So hopefully it feels better now. And if you liked the video, if you enjoyed class, please hit the like, share, subscribe if you can. Definitely send this out to anybody you know needs to move their ankles and their calves. Runners, I'm looking at you right now. <laughs> awesome. And please make sure that you take your time with it. Remember, if you cramp, which might happen because feet are very complicated things, pause the video, come back to it when you're ready. And next time you do it, it might feel better. Do this as often as you can. It should really help with your ankle mobility, flexibility, and also helps your calf stretch out a bit. Awesome. 
Have a great day, everybody. Take care and bye.